Thanks for staying tuned to STL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson, and I'm joined by Colleen Starklaw from the ADA 25 STL Celebration, which is taking place this weekend, this Saturday. So in our first segment, we were kind of going over all the different highlights um, of the celebration on Saturday, but there's another thing that we didn't talk about. There's a job fair. Well, the, you know, the next big step for people with disabilities is employment. We mm -hmm. are the poorest of the poor. And, in, and employment helps to lift us out of poverty, and that's where we need to go. We're, we are absolutely a component of diversity that is not well, mm -hmm. a, it's not well modeled, and, and you don't really see that aspect of diversity in employment. You don't see enough disabled people in the workforce, mm -hmm. but we're very talented, absolutely. and we can perform the jobs, and we're an untapped talent pool. Mm -hmm. So we hope that people with disabilities who are coming will bring their resumes because we have major corporations there. Centene Corporation, who I mentioned is the sponsor. Mm -hmm. We have other sponsors. Nestle Purina Pet Care is coming, and they're really looking for talent. Metro is coming. Enterprise Bank and Trust. Enterprise Holdings, which is the rental car company. Mm -hmm. um, Monsanto mm -hmm. is coming. Rojo Corporation is coming. Metro, the bus company, is coming. There's going to be some employers there who are looking for great talented people yeah. so we're inviting people with disabilities to show up and bring at least 10 resumes and network oh, and fantastic. take advantage of, of this opportunity we also have a two book readings for children from 10 to 10 30 a woman named Katie Bannister is reading her book Aunt Katie's visit to little kids and it, it familiarizes kids with people who are mm -hmm. disabled mm -hmm. makes them very feel warm and bubbly mm -hmm. uh, at 2 o'clock there's another book being read and the number, the name escapes me, but it's um, a woman who, Michelle Bain, who mm. wrote the book. And it's also for children, and it's about somebody who uses a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. So that's a real good thing yeah, to see. Yeah, that's really, no, and, yeah. and that's a great And then we mm -hmm. have the Uppity Theater Company, which is a troupe of disabled and non-disabled actors doing a performance called One World. There will be two narrated tours for blind people, mm -hmm. because the, the museum has two exhibits, a walk through 1875 and a new exhibit called Coffee. And they're going to have a, a narrated tour for blind people who mm -hmm. come to this event, specifically f making that those exhibits very welcoming to blind people. There'll be music. There'll yeah. be food trucks. It's going to be just, I I'm, mean, I'm going to dance. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, yeah. you've covered sort of all areas. It's, I mean, really in a powerful, really powerful, strong lineup. I mean, this is a great, great event. Well, it's Obviously, a, a lot of time went into it. It's a cause celeb for us. It Let's, really is. Let's talk a bit about your husband and talk about the Stark Loft Disability you. Institute. For people who aren't familiar with it, tell me about the Institute. The Stark Loft Disability Institute was organized by my husband, Max Stark Loft, and myself and our partner, David Newberger, in 2003 when we left Paraquad. And we decided that um, we had achieved a lot of what we wanted to do when we were at Paraquad, but we felt that the next big step for us was really create, creating a change in societal attitude toward people with disabilities to create a more welcoming world for mm -hmm. all disabled people. Mm -hmm. So we have a number of things we do. We promote universal design, which is a way to, to design that includes everyone. Mm -hmm. We promote, we teach disability studies at Maryville University. They invited us in 2005 and we're still there mm -hmm. teaching courses in disability studies. And our signature program is called The Next Big Step, Economic Independence Through Employment. And we welcome people with college degrees and technical degrees and prepare them to be very, very hmm. strong candidates. Um, our director, Susan Menhard, is a person with a disability herself who was turned down from a job that she was really good at mm -hmm. because she became disabled and they said she couldn't do the job, hmm. which is not true. But that was our good fortune mm -hmm. because she's working for us and doing an excellent job preparing candidates with disabilities. So 80% of the people who go through our class get jobs. Wow. That's pretty good. I do want to mention, too, we have this uh, graphic of your husband. There's a book. It's a book that came out. Is that correct? Last year? I just want to make sure we get a chance yeah. to mention that before we wrap Thank things up. Thank you. Yes, I'm very proud of that. Charlie Claggett, Charles E. Claggett, who was uh, chairman of our board until a few months ago, took 10 years to write this book. Hmm. And I love it. It's a real tribute to Max and what he stood for and the work that he has done, both as a local, state, national, and international disability rights leader. Max started out as a person with a disability living in a nursing home. Hmm. He was incarcerated hmm. there. And, hmm. and, and there we're to, looking. This is the cover. Is this yes. the book cover? Yes. It's uh, 
That's my that's my <laughs> max. I'm very proud of you. Yeah. Him. Well, you're doing. I mean, you're both doing, but you continue on doing amazing yeah. work, and people can see sort of the fruits of your labor, really, and many others this Thank weekend uh, taking place on Saturday at the Missouri History Museum. It's the ADA STL 25 celebration, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. this Saturday. For more information, go to ADA 25 STL. Dot org and you know congratulations for all of your hard work in doing this and I hope Saturday is everything that you hoped it would be and more which it sounds like it will be you know it's dedicated to Max and what he stood for and I know it's going to be the best event we've ever done I'm really excited and I'm really inviting everybody to come out and celebrate with yeah, us no, it's free and it's free <laughs> thank you so much for thank stopping you, by Sarah. thank you appreciate it all right well we're not done yet there's more STL live coming your way we'll be right back after this <laughs>